Are you saying that Mr. Alexander, when he was speaking with the defendant, was in the same relationship as you were with the defendant when you were speaking to her? If you were in my group, I would ask you to take a time out, Mr. Martinez. Judge, would you please admonish the witness to yes. withhold those comments and ask that the jury Violet. disregard the outburst? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, disregard the witness's last statement. Ms. LaViolette, please just answer the questions. Oh, the timeout. What do we have in store for us today? We shall see. Let's bring in our expert, Defense Attorney Jeff Gold. He's been following this. He's there in uh, Phoenix. Jeff, what about that? Do you need a timeout? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that was an inappropriate remark. But, um, you know, the boxing analogy is strained a little bit with, with her. Is it a boxing match? It is. But, you know, Juan's fighting a kind of nice Aunt Alice here. You know, she seems like a nice enough lady. She's really not an expert witness. I think she's testified six times, something like that. Uh, she's really a speaker, and I think she's in way over her head, and yet at the same time, battered and bruised, she's limping out there pretty good, though. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, she's not Jody Arias. You know, Jody Arias is allegedly a murderer and admittedly a liar, and beating her up right from the beginning is probably an okay thing for a prosecutor. Uh, I don't know I would have taken this tack uh, by Juan. He seems to have one speed, you know, and the only thing that slows, like a lawnmower, the only thing that slows him up is tall <laughs> grass. But otherwise, he wants to go one <laughs> speed. So, um, but she's, you know, she's done okay. I, I, there's definitely been some points made by the, the prosecutor, this idea of secondary gain. She didn't really consider very much that maybe Jody's lying because she wants to get out of the case. Uh, she didn't really, you know, uh, understand hypotheticals and that experts are asked hypotheticals every day. That's how you ask an expert witness a question in most cases is a, a hypothetical fact. She didn't understand some of these things. But in the end, I think the defense has checked off the box they needed, which is to have an expert on domestic violence to get that before the jury. That's mm -hmm. what they need. They need to have it in deliberations. And I don't think Juan did all that. He certainly, if the standard is is uh, uh, Dick Samuels, well, then she's done pretty good. Right. No, and she, yeah, let's, let's be honest. I think most would say she's a definite upgrade from uh, Samuels. Uh, but the, he, here's the key, though. It's Yes, you and I talk about it. We got the analogies working a little bit. I'm sure everybody does to some degree. But what's the jury doing with this? I mean, do you think it's as simple as they might be picking a side, whether they're going, uh, you know, maybe a little much here, with, with, he's a little too aggressive, or, you know, the, the other side is he's got to do this. Uh, you know, Juan Martinez uh, thinks she's a murderer. Well, absolutely, Mike. I mean, I think, you know, that's really a good question. First of all, you know, I've been in the courtroom, so I'm watching them drop uh, questions in the box. I think they have a boatload of questions for uh, this expert. So that's number one. After we get done with the cross and then the, uh, the redirect, we're going to have questions from the jury, and, I, and, and they haven't even counted them. So that's a number one. A number two is interesting on uh, Nancy Grace last night. Uh, Kim Goldman was on, you know, the sister mm -hmm. of Ron Goldman, the, the, one of the victims of O.J. Simpson, and she was saying that it was hard to watch Juan and Alice LaViolette because it reminded her of um, the, st the uh, defense, Barry Sheck, going against the uh, Dennis Fung, who was a, a witness in um, the O.J. case, and it was painful to her. Well, you know what? If it was painful to her watching, maybe it's painful to some of those jurors, too. That's why I say uh, I would have tried this witness with a little bit more honey. I think that she's proud of her 30 years of uh, mm -hmm. service to domestic uh, violence victims. And I think if you work with that a little bit, she, one might get some more from her. He's trying right now at the end to get her to try to say that there is a pattern of behavior in Jody Arias while he can't say that's domestic violence, i.e. she's an aggressor, he's trying to get her to use her expertise for his side. And I think it would have been a lot more effective if he had used a little honey throughout this cross-examination instead of beating her up. She's just 100% for the defense. Right. And, um, well, I don't I think, think that... And I, and I think you make a point there, of, and we're talking about what's most important, what's the jury doing with this? Are they listening to the substance uh, of, of what's going on here. And I think Juan Martinez is making some good points to basically say she's biased, she's an advocate, uh, versus just the, the, the diff different styles here, and they're kind of going at it. So uh, 